Uh, yeah, so I'm Craig. I'm based in Carmody Church in Northern Ireland. And over the last few months, we've seen a great influx of some estate kids. Uh, there's just a state near us called Bally Duff. Um, it's a state full of a lot of pain, a lot of brokenness. Um, we've really wanted to invest state for many years, for the last 20 years. People in the church have been praying for the state every week, uh, consistently and faithfully. And we're finally starting to see the fruit of that. Um, we made a connection with one of the local schools. I came to know some of the local girls who go with living in that state and we try, decided to try and invest in them as much as we could and they finally decided to come to church um, in around Christmas time. Um, it was a difficult start when they started. Um, they were very challenging. They, they never experienced church before. This was their very first experience at church. They never knew how to react to church. A lot of challenges. They didn't know how to react to us and we weren't sure how to react to them. And on the first night we left feeling defeated. We left feeling sore. We left feeling sure about what to do. And we spent a lot of time praying spent a lot of time deciding what to do and we decided to invest them because that's what Jesus would do. So over the next couple of months we invest them so much. We started new programs for them. We started breakfast club. We started after school clubs just to really make a bond of them and it was difficult for the first two months. But eventually we got there. Eventually they saw we wanted to invest in them. They realized that we wanted to love them. We really wanted to show them how much God loved them. So they came to faith. A couple of them actually have made confessions of faith and they're not the kind of kids who would ever tell you what you want to hear. They're such bare and such honest kids, everything they say comes from the heart and it's so true. Um, there's been a real, real change in some of them. These kids, they grew up in this estate and they just accepted that that's how their life was going to be, that their life wasn't going to be hopeful, there was no hope in their future, that their life was going to be a life of fear, that their life was going to be a life of pain and they accepted that. But we invested in them and showed them that there could be more, that there, be, there could be hope again, that there could be joy. And some of them have really changed. They're different people now. Um, ones the skills they've given up to have really changed, even in school. Their life has been affected by Christ. Um, they've moved up to, to uh, class levels instead of being the bottom class now. They're going to class above. And it's phenomenal. They're, they're different people. They're just full of joy now. They're full of happiness and they're full of hope again. And the change in them is just phenomenal though. Even some of them have signed up for a summer team uh, to go do mission in the state they've grown up in. And I think that this is the start of something massive for that state and for these young people. That they can really change the future and change that environment. And it's going to start with them.